Hi everyone, it's Colleen here. This is take three because I keep making mistakes. Um, I just wanted to show you a beautiful little box that I made up for my friend Marion. It holds the cards that are five and a half by four and a quarter inches with their envelopes. Uh, I made a little belly band to go around the middle to hold it closed. And inside you can see I have quite a few cards. I think there's more than a dozen there. So they fit inside nicely. Even if they were embellished, it would still give you more than enough room. The lid just fits snugly on. The lid is 1 8th, 1 16th of an inch larger than the, the bottom, but I'll show you how to cut that in a minute. And I just made this little belly band to go around the middle. It doesn't meet in the center, so that's why I've added the, um, uh, like the little embellishment on the front to hold it closed. So that's just it there. So let's get started. Now the color I'm going to be using today is this is crystal blue. It's a it's also in the colored cardstock. This is called Blossoms Paper Pack. It's absolutely lovely. It has all the different colors in it. Um, that measures uh, four and a quarter by five and three quarters. These little strips are three quarters by five and three quarters and these ones here are three quarters by one and a quarter inches now I'm going to show you how to cut out the lid but what I want to show you first is on here the one eighth of an inch as you can see that there is your full mark there is your one eighth but that tiny weeny little one just in there, that's your 1 16th of an inch mark and that's what we're going to be working on today. So when we cut out our lid, and I'm using White Daisy for this, we're going to cut it out at 8 and 1 16th. So that is that mark right there. So it's just the tiny little mark after the 8. So we'll cut that off there. And then our next mark is six and nine sixteenths. So you come to your half inch point and it's that tiny little mark just after the half inch and you cut it there. And that's how you make your box lid. And that will just give it just that one sixteenth of an inch to be larger than the bottom itself. So that's all we need to cut. Now I already have cut a one inch strip and folded it as you can see due to the fact that this is the third time I've done it. The last one was all blurry and I thought well we can't see that one. So this is our little zip strip that, we, that goes along the top. Now all our papers come with it. When you buy a, a paper pack of any description it'll all come with this piece across the top. Uh, all you need to do is just cut it off. On the reverse side of your paper it will tell you that it's um, what other colours will go with it like this one's Glacier, Lagoon, Pear, Smoothie, Sunset and White Daisy so that you know what colour cardstock you can choose to go with it. This one is the Blossoms and it's X7196B and it's, oh, I just love all of our papers. Um, uh, yeah, so this is just a different zip strip to this one. This was on top of this paper, but this one was on another one that was inside the pack. But it's still all the same colours, so it still all blends together. So what we're going to do now is using our scoreboard, we're going to take our white daisy and we're going to score it at one inch on all four sides. Just like that. piece of crystal blue we're going to score it at one and a half inches I liked the depth in this part of the box I thought that it it um, lent itself quite well so that you've got like a half inch piece showing there I really did like the look of that so that's why I designed it that way so that's all we need to score. When you're doing your belly band, you just need to fold it around the box because you cannot get an accurate score measurement from your scoreboard. But that's another story. So what we'll do now is we're going to burnish and fold all our score lines. And I hope this video turns out this time to drive me crackers. Right, so we'll take our white daisy and we're going to burnish and fold all these score lines. Just like that. 
Now before we do anything else, we're going to attach our paper to our, to our front panel. So I'm using liquid glass because I'm being lazy and I just love liquid glass. I like the fact that it's got such a fine controllable nozzle on it. If you can control how much comes out. Now we're going to place that into the middle, making sure that we have about a quarter of an inch, give or take, all the way around. So that's our first piece down. Now we'll use our two longer strips. It's much easier to place these on now. You can do it once the box lid is made. It's just a little bit trickier. But if you place them down now, then it's just much easier for you. So here's our one side panel. I like this paper because it's non, it doesn't matter which way up it goes. But if you were using a directional one, I'd suggest that you make sure that your pieces flow in the same direction as your paper's going. So you can get a really nice look for it. Number two. Now for our two ends. So as you can see, it just forms out a nice little bead of glue. I don't know who I'm going to give all these boxes away to. <laughs> Perhaps in my next class, some lucky ladies will take them home. Now, on our long side, I, this is where I like to cut so that this flap tucks in under here. So we're going to cut up and we're going to cut out a little wedge. straight line and then wedge out on those sides. So I don't know how easy it is for you to see on this white cardstock but it might be easier on the crystal blue and then cut a little wedge off. So you, you keep that edge as straight as possible, which I didn't. And then you just notch out these little pieces. Push that to one side. So that's that bit done. Now if you turn it over and pull in the two little ends. So that's on this section here. Just pull in these two little ends. Add some liquid glass. Oh, I think I OD'd then. And bring it up. And you form your corner there. to the other end. I've tried doing it by adding the sides up. It's a little bit painful because you've got your two little bits. So I just find it easy to do one end at a time. So there and there. So that's our lid made. Just like that. We pop that to one side and now we'll make up our bottom. Now we're going to cut that in exactly the same way. On the long side Straight up, take out a wedge. Mm, I'm not known for my cutting skills, I can tell you. Take out a wedge. This is a very quick, simple, easy little box. I'm hoping that you'll give it a go if you want to have a, have something nice to give to somebody. Oh, just there we go. Same dealio, just add glue to these sections here. And fold them up and glue them into position. Same with 
this one. be a snug little fit, our lid on our box. Now when you're going to lay your belly band on, place it onto the back, lay it across and pinch the edges, bring it up around and pinch the edges and then take it off and score it. Now it doesn't meet in the middle, that's why I made this piece here, but you can just, um, I don't know what I've done with it, I had an oval piece cut out before but you can just lay that on and glue it into position I decorated mine first before I put it on so that I knew where it'd go so I'll just take this one off of here show you how it slides on I don't think it likes me do I? there we go and that's how the belly band will fit onto your little box. Like I said, it holds up to a dozen cards. And I'll just show you one of our wonderful little things. In our book, we have what we call um, a card making kit like we have with scrapbooking kits. And this one here is the Workshop on the Go card making guide. And this is the stamp set that comes with it as well as you get this uh, lovely little guide. When you open it up, it gives you the instructions and it gives you the, the pictures of how to make up the cards. You get to make up three cards with this guide. And that one there is the Jackson one. So yeah, so it's just lovely. You get your cards, you get twine, embellishment, get the envelopes, plus you get your paper and your card stock to make all of the cards that are in this guide. So it's a really good buy. And I can't remember how much it is. I'll have a look in the book for you. As you can see, my books take a beating. That's Jackson. The Blossom Card Making Kit is $37, but you get to make all of that. And there's the alternate. Um, a stamp set that you could use. That one there is the um, shower flowers and that's the one I've used on the front of here. It's C1612. So it's um, a really good kit and I really hope that you enjoy this little box. Like I said it will hold up to a dozen cards inside once even they're embellished and um, I hope you enjoyed what you saw today. If, if you want to make this please visit my blog on Colsey's Crafty Corner dot wordpress dot com for all the instructions and the video will be linked up to that as well. Um, if you would like to purchase any products and you don't have a consultant, um, I would ple be very pleased to earn your business. Um, yeah, so please come and see me at Colleen Vogue, um, close to my heart dot com. And uh, thank you very much for watching my video and I hope you enjoy making these. Thank you. Bye.